Hey guys, welcome back to Divine Beauty. Today's look is going to be a dramatic um, eyeliner look with um, a bold uh, red look just to celebrate the holidays. So starting off, I'm going to be uh, placing my eyebrows. You guys already know that I use my Anastasia Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. If you've never tried it, you must try it. It's uh, very simple, or at least for me, I've been doing it for a while. It's very simple for me to use. I just go ahead and start at the bottom and then go ahead and fill in the top and fill in any gaps that are left. And notice I'm not dipping in and grabbing a lot of product. This product a little bit does go a very long way. And moving on to the next brow, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Just lining the bottom line and then moving up to the top as you can see and fill it in, filling it in as I um, place that second line at the top. Next, moving in with just a um, stippling brush. I can't think of the name right now, but um, using a stippling brush and just using my uh, go-to foundation at the moment, which is the L'Oreal Pro Matte um, Infallible Foundation. It's a 24-hour foundation, demi-matte finish, um, air light, oil-free. It's an amazing foundation. As you can tell, you can see it's very full coverage. Um, I just go ahead and squeeze it onto my face and then using, um, actually it's a real technique brush. Um, using that brush, just going in and um, blending that into my skin. It's, um, I have comb combination skin, so this foundation works very well for my um, skin. I noticed yesterday I, I was feeling like my skin was a little um, too dry, so I think I'm going to go ahead and switch my foundation for a couple days. But this foundation is amazing. It is full coverage. I don't have to conceal anything after I'm done because the foundation does the work for both of them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and switch it up. Maybe I'll just mix it with another foundation that's a little bit more uh, moisturizing just because um, I've been feeling like my face was a little dry yesterday. So as you can see, I just continue to blend in and you can see barely any of my um, acne scarring. So only the spots that you can see and that one on my chin is really fresh. So I was trying to cover it up as much as I could. Um, so just going back with the same foundation, just basically spot concealing it or just adding more foundation to that area and then just blending it in for a more seamless uh, look. And of course, blending is a key. Make sure you blend on your jawline, um, usually down your neck, but I, sometimes I don't, um, just to make sure that you can't see um, any line, any harsh lines between your your face and your your neck or your chin then using this palette by Too Faced and I can't remember the name of it but I know it's from this year's Christmas collection um, I used the green booklet and I used just the two top brown shades one is called Pot de Creme and the other one is called Fifi now I'm using Fifi with a uh, fluffy Sonia Kashuk brush just to add some uh, warmth to my um, my lid Remember to tap off any excess off the brush. You don't want the uh, fallout on your face. So if you can tap it off, that's less fallout you have to fall onto your foundation. A very simple look. Um, something very easy to do. Then going in with a different brush. Um, I believe I used yeah, just an e.l.f. brush. And I take the color Pot de Creme and just patted that onto my eyelid and then I take it as well and place it underneath my brow just to give it that brightening look oh 
and going back in with the same brush that I used the Sony Kashuk fluffy brush and just blending those two colors in together so that you don't see the division between the colors. Now moving along, I'm going to be using my NYC liquid liner in the color black. And this is an amazing liner. Um, you can perform both very thin lines or very thick lines, depending on your preference. Um, this is, liner is very affordable. You can find it at any drugstore. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think Ulta carries it. No, my at least my Ulta does not carry um, NYC products. In their store but you can find this at your CVS at your Walgreens any drugstore really you can find it I believe it's $2.99 and it lasts a pretty long time this is one of my favorite um, liquid liners besides the physician formula um, and it stays in place all day till it's time to come off obviously at night but a very affordable eyeliner and I just uh, created a very dramatic liner I want it my liner and my lashes to be a little bit uh, dramatic with this look since I didn't um, put too much eyeshadow on for this look so keeping the eyeshadow very simple but adding drama onto my um, lashes and my eyeliner Just going back in to darken it a little bit or fill in any gaps. This liner is actually time to throw it away. I need to get open up another one. Going in with my Clinique uh, mascara. I'm not sure this actually is the Clinique High Impact Mascara in the color black. I don't remember where I got this from. Actually, this is one of like a uh, free with purchase when you go to Boscov's and you purchase like a certain amount of Clinique products and they give you like a little goodie bag, a makeup bag with different Clinique products. This came in this um in the bag and I really like this mascara. I actually have quite a few of them, so this one's finishing as well, so it's time to pull out another one. Just getting my lashes prepared so I can go ahead and add my falsies in, in a few minutes. Now going in with some Cherry Blossom Lashes. These are Cherry Blossom number 79. They're very um, full lashes. They're not um, simple at all. They're a little dramatic. Um, but that was the point of this look. And I just used um, just some duo glue and just applied them on the lashes. App uh, allowed them to dry for a few minutes. So that the glue becomes tacky and I just took my uh, pink tweezers and applied them starting in the middle. Stick them in the middle first and then work on my edges. Both lashes are on and I'm just going back in with my liquid liner and just filling in any gaps um, and darkening up the, the line from the, from the lashes. Just to make it look a little bit more, not natural because the lashes are not natural at all, but just to blend the two together. Now going in with the Too Faced Be Bright um, palette, I'm going to be using the blush shade at the bottom and the highlighter as well I'm just using that brush I believe I purchased that as a set at Walgreens just blushing on um, brushing onto my cheeks the color lollipop in that palette it's a very pretty pink with um, little sparkles in it and being that my foundation is so matte I like to add um, a little like sparkle 
blush to my face just so that my face doesn't all look matte and then with that same brush i'm just going to be um, applying a little bit of the highlight in that palette and it's called inner light then moving on to the lips i'm going to be applying this number 11 um, nyx suede lip cream onto my lips and this is the red shade i'm not sure the name of the shade i will um, put it down below in the description box but i know it's the red shade from nyx and it's their matte lip cream and these um, lip products are amazing i actually purchased one of each and also did a giveaway on my instagram with these products and i really like their um their formula Alright guys, that's basically my look for today. I'm just going to go ahead and set it with my NYX Matte Finish um, Setting Spray. Love this stuff. And this is my look. Just fanning it a little bit so it can dry. And that's my look for today. I thank you guys again so much for watching. I'm just going to strike a pose for a few minutes so you guys can check out the look. And don't forget to continue to um, watch my videos in the future. Stay tuned for more videos. If you guys have any suge suggestions, drop them down below. Thanks. Bye-bye.